In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make your own reversible satin tie-on bonnet. These are my favorite to wear because they're much more comfortable than the elastic ones. Stay tuned. For this project, you'll need two different colors of satin fabric, and then you'll need to cut that fabric into two squares that are at least 24 by 24 inches, and then two strips of fabric that are 3 inches by 72 inches long. For step one, we're going to cut out our two circle bonnet pieces. To do that, you're going to take your large square pieces and you're going to fold them in half twice. You're going to fold it in half hot dog style once, and then you're going to fold that in half hamburger style. Once you fold your first piece, you're going to go ahead and fold your second piece and place it on top of that first one. When you stack them on top of each other, you want to make sure you have them facing in the same direction. This is very important for how we cut it. Next, you're going to take measuring tape or a ruler, and you're going to measure from that folded corner 12 inches out. If you want your bonnet to be a little bit more full, you can measure 13, 14 inches. If you want it to be smaller, then you can measure less. But I think 12 is the best size for an average adult size head. After you've marked your center line, you're going to keep rotating your measuring tape and marking until you've made a curved triangle. Once you've made all your dots, you're going to go ahead and connect them. And once they're connected, you're just going to take some scissors or a rotary cutter. You can choose whichever one you prefer. And you're going to go ahead and cut through all four of those layers. After you're done cutting, you're going to just unfold those triangles and then they should be perfect circles. Next, you're going to lay both of your circle pieces, one on top of the other, and then you're going to fold it in half. We're going to have to mark a center line, so we're going to fold it in half and I like to iron it flat. But it's up to you if you want to do that or not. Once we found our center line, we're going to go ahead and take our measuring tape and we're going to measure 3 inches from the bottom. After you make your first mark, you're going to go ahead and rotate that measuring tape just like we did previously. This is also going to cause like a little curved triangle, so once you're done marking your dots, you're going to connect them and then take your scissors and cut that little piece off. Make sure you're cutting through both layers of your fabric. Now after that's been cut off, you're going to go ahead and place both of your pieces of fabric right sides together. On satin, the right side is the shiny smooth side and the matte side is going to be your wrong side. We're going to go ahead and sew that curved close. Don't sew all the way around, just sew that curve. After I'm done sewing, I'm going to take some pinking shears and I'm going to cut off that extra seam allowance. If you don't have pinking shears, then you can take some scissors and just cut little triangle notches in it. This is going to reduce bulk whenever we turn it right side out. Once you trim off that excess, you're going to go ahead and turn it right side out. As I'm turning, I'm just flipping it and just smoothing everything out. Once it's right side out, you want to go ahead and take an iron and you're just going to press that seam just to make sure everything's nice and flat. On the right side of the fabric, I'm going to go ahead and sew two gathering stitches around the perimeter of the circle. To sew a gathering stitch on your sewing machine, you want to make sure you use your longest stitch that your sewing machine has available, and you also don't want to lock in those ends. We're going to need those to gather our stitches. Next, we're going to gather our fabric. To do that, you want to grab your bobbin threads and you're going to slowly pull. As you pull, you're going to be adjusting your fabric just to make sure that the ruffles are nice and even. You want to take your time as you're doing this because you don't want to break those threads. If you break those threads, then your gathering is gone. Now, once you're done gathering, you want to make sure you gather your fabric to about 22, 23, or 24 inches. Next, we're going to sew our band piece. To do that, you're going to place your two band pieces right sides together. You can clip or pin them, whichever your preference. I prefer to clip them. But whenever you put them together, you're going to just sew right down the center seam. You don't want to sew anything else, just sew them together at the center. After that, you want to go ahead and press your seam open. Next, you're going to fold your band in half, and then you're going to mark half of whatever your opening is for your bonnet, and you're going to go ahead and mark that. This is going to show us where to place our band on the bonnet. So you're going to take your band and you're going to place your marking at the edge of your bonnet. You're going to clip or pin that in place and then you're going to pin all the way around the perimeter of that bonnet. You want to make sure you're placing your band and your bonnet right sides together. And then after you're done pinning, you're going to sew just around the perimeter of that bonnet opening. Once you sew on the first half of the band, it looks really nice, but you can see on the inside, you see all those raw edges, so we're going to fix that. So what you want to do is take your outer band piece and you're going to fold it in a quarter of an inch. 
Once you've done that, you're gonna fold it over and you're gonna cover that raw edge on the inside. I'm gonna go ahead and pin mine down and then once it's pinned, it should look like this. So now that it's pinned, we're gonna go ahead and do a top stitch around the entirety of that band. I went ahead and folded the sides of the straps inward about a quarter of an inch on each side and then I folded in on the bottom as well. So there's, no, there's not gonna be any raw edges on that band at all. And then after you're done sewing, this is what your bonnet should look like. Luckily, this bonnet is reversible because both sides are satin. So you can wear this pretty magenta side or you can wear that blush side. Thank you guys for watching and let me know what you want to see next. Bye!